Well, the Never Trump activists may have found a last resort. I'm calling it the nuclear option to deny Donald Trump the nomination. An article in today's Wall Street Journal says uh, there are delegates who say that they don't really see where it's legal or where they have to actually vote for Donald Trump on the first ballot, even, even if that's what the voters in their districts aim for them to do. Now, before we heard everybody was bound to a certain degree. Now they're saying they're not bound. If this is true, what would that mean for the GOP convention? Joining me now, Gina Loudon, Betsy Woodruff, Adriana Cohen, and back uh, again, Bob Vander Plaats. And I want to start with you, Adriana. I know you're a huge Donald Trump fan. I'm not sure if you read this article from Kim Strassel, uh, one of the guys she talked to uh, from North Dakota, saying, hey, you know, this was never a steadfast rule. What if that starts to bubble up? What if, what if Donald Trump gets 1237 before the convention, and that's the next option that they try? I don't think it's going to happen at all. Um, just this week, um, Donald Trump crossed the 50% threshold of pledged delegates, and he's got over 10 million votes already. That's millions more than Ted Cruz. And so if we get to the convention where Donald Trump has earned, rightfully earned, the 1237, if not more delegates on the first ballot, if that is robbed from him, all hell is going to break loose, and you will see just a major revolt of potentially millions of Republican voters refusing to vote for Ted Cruz or whoever the party selects as the nominee. Although, Betsy, I think the powers that be, uh, whoever they are, the, 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 the shadowy figures we all kind of know exist, but maybe not know all of their names, I think for them the party is lost anyway, and maybe for them, maybe to hold on to control of the, uh, of the remains of it uh, might be even more important than blowing it up. And that said, a lot of conservative D.C. And Republican, and Republican establishment insiders are making peace with the idea of Trump being the party's nominee. You heard John Boehner just earlier this week suggest that Trump would be much better than Ted Cruz even, saying Ted Cruz was a lot like Lucifer. One thing that stood out to me, though, about some of the conversations that I've heard, you know, off-the-record discussions I've had with some of these folks, is how creative some of the anti-Trump forces have been. I spoke to one Republican insider who said that an option they might have going into the convention would be even if Trump got the requisite delegates to win on the first ballot, it's possible they could corral a dozen, two dozen delegates to just not vote. If delegates don't vote and he doesn't make it across that 1237 number on the first ballot, they could conceivably force the contention to be contested. Of course, the odds of that happening are extremely low. If Trump gets to 1237, right. I don't think it's likely. But, but, you know, technically it is possible. Bob, each round of elections, what we're starting to see is that Republican voters are saying they're okay with the guy with the most votes, even if it's not a majority, getting the nod. And more and more, we're starting to see people saying, even if Ted Cruz is, a, is selected in the second or third round, they're never going to vote for him or the party again. I agree with Ryan's previous on this one. I mean, everybody knew the rules of the game when they went in. If you don't get to 1237, you don't get to 1237. Uh, this case, you know, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but not in the number of delegates. And I think what you're going to see is that we're not going to get to 1237 before Cleveland. Cruz has, Cruz has had a great delegate operation for Cleveland, and I think Cruz will come out of there as the nominee. So there's a lot of ebb and flow here, and I think what Cruz is doing is he's running a very smart campaign, and the more John Boehner can embrace Donald Trump and call Ted Cruz ridiculous names like Lucifer, the more you're going to see people rally around Ted Cruz, because now they're seeing Trump's true right. colors. He's just part of the establishment. He's willing to make a deal for anything. That's why you're going to see them embrace Ted Cruz. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Gina